just thinking back to that second half, what changed for you guys offensively? Why did everything start clicking there? Really, I mean, we went into the locker room and we just kind of said, we just got to keep playing our football. It's all about us. And uh, we came in, made a couple of adjustments, but nothing big. We said, we just got to start playing our football. And that's exactly what we did. We came out and we started executing. That was the biggest thing was just got to start executing. Plays were bad, we just got to go make them. As uh, you've continued to make plays this season, have you felt defenses in any way trying to take things away from you that, that were there early in the season? Do you see them trying to scheme you out of, out of games? And how do you get around that? Uh, a little bit. Sometimes whenever I'm running a route or uh, they'll bracket me, they'll have two guys stand out there. But for the most part, I mean, not really. I mean, we have so many players on this team that can make an impact all over the field, make big plays. I mean, they can't take out somebody without somebody else making a big play, whether that be Briley or Malik or Chabaston or uh, Will, just on using his legs as well. Uh, and we have so many running backs in the stable as well that, I mean, we can hit you with all types of stuff. So uh, not too much. And the uh, last one for me, what was it like being part of this rivalry for the first time? It was it was surreal. I mean, all week, I mean, we were all we talked about was doing it for these Kansas boys that maybe were overlooked by Kansas or were shoved to the side because they weren't good enough to play for them. And we said, we're going to go do this for y'all. And I mean, it was it was fantastic getting out there to play with my boys and my first Sunflower uh, showdown. Mitchell. Hey, Deuce, you know, the, something you were just mentioning there were guys that, that felt like they were overlooked. And I, I assume that was something that you were, it was easy for you to get behind as a guy that that's kind of been overlooked, right? Yes, sir. I mean, always been overlooked because of my height and everything. I mean, it's just a chip on my shoulder. And I feel like that's why we're such a great team is because we all have chips on our shoulders for some reason. We all came here to show everybody that we can play football and we're really good at it. We're going to execute and we're going to hit it every single day and we're going to try to be be better players and a better team every single day. And that's exactly what we're doing. So now I think it's pretty accurate to, to say that you're not, you've proven that you're not a flash in the pan type of guy that you've for multiple games now have been a valuable contributor for, for multiple wins now. So what, what does it say about you as an athlete that you've been able to have so many games now where you've been a, a, a big part of the, these wins? It's very humbling uh, just to come up to this stage and play well is very, uh, very humbling. And I mean, I'm just blessed to have this opportunity, but I can't not put my guys out in front of me because I mean, whether they're opening up holes or blocking down field or, and the coaches getting me prepared throughout the week. I mean, all of this and all testament to them, uh, really, I'm doing none of this by myself. It's a team game. And I mean, I love these boys and I'm gonna do everything to help us win. And one final question. I think every week is an opportunity to kind of show to the rest of college football what a team is about. So for this week, with this win and this rivalry, what kind of message did Kansas State send to the rest of college football? We're going to do it together every single every single week for 60 minutes on that field. We're going to do it together. We're going to play as one. We're going to play as a team. And that's what we preach every single week is that we're going to do this together. And, I mean, we're so strong whenever we play together that it's, I mean, it's scary. And, I mean, I love this, this team. I love my coaches. And I know they love me. And we're going to go out and we're going to do it every single week for each other. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, man. No doubt. Ryan. Hey, Deuce. Uh, I want to take you back to the very first third down of the game. And uh, basically you got hit on a pass. I think it was 36 yards, 38 yards for first down. Uh, were you surprised you were that wide open, uh, just given how much attention that we've talked about seems to be heaped on you now week in and week out? A little bit. Uh, I mean, I didn't get my head turned around quick enough because uh, I was running. I thought somebody was on my hip. When I turned around, there was kind of a guy that was like five yards behind me, and Will was kind of just staring at me. I mean, he gave me a ball, and I was like, okay, it's time to get out and run. But uh, it was very surprising, especially coming out in the first playoff because uh, all week whenever we had been running it during practice, I mean, safety would come down or uh, linebacker would spill out with me. But, I mean, they really got their eyes kind of uh, messed up and then big play came out of it. Did, did that maybe kind of make you think, well, hey, we're going to have a pretty big offensive day and then kind of the first half, the rest of the time after that was kind of sluggish for you guys? Um, at that point, I mean, really, we were just trying to keep our mojo and trying to get our mojo in the game. I mean, just staying on the field is something that we're going to have to work on. But, I mean, whenever we get rolling, I mean, we can do a lot of damage and then – just making sure that we keep even, even kill, even when we, we go three and out. And it's like, all right, next possession, next play, next play, next play. That play's done, next play, next play. And just making sure that we uh, keep executing and doing everything we can to 
make us successful. And then my last thing for you on, on a couple of your second half plays, especially on the touchdown, you made like a really good juke to get into the, into the end zone on the one, one yard score. Is that something that just naturally you're good at or how much do you have to practice the footwork on moves like that? Um, really, it's just been something that's kind of always naturally happened uh, whenever I see somebody just making sure that I uh, expose their leverage, uh, whether that be he's okay, he's kind of leaning outside. I'm probably going to be able to cut this one up or he's trying to fight outside or he's trying to fight inside, kind of give him a little stutter and keep going. Uh, just things like that have kind of always came just kind of like instinct almost. Last one here, John. Yeah, Deuce, just how much of the last two weeks with the bye week combined with especially how you played in the second half today gone toward just giving you guys some more comfort and confidence with Will at quarterback and where you guys are at? I mean, just – taking it play by play, play by play, and just just going out and having fun, really. I feel like Will, as the game went on, he started to sit in there, and you saw some throws that he made were, were pretty spectacular. I mean, whenever we get rolling, that's I think that's the thing that we need to start doing better is getting rolling earlier in the game and making sure that everybody's getting touches and everybody's uh, – getting out there making the routine play so that we can go make the explosive play and everything like that. And whenever we can do that, I mean, I feel like we're, we're pretty dangerous. 